Mary, and we're here at Little Wild Things Farm in Northeast DC. We grow microgreens, salad greens, and edible flowers, and a little bit less than a quarter of an acre right here in the heart of the city. We farm on a very small space. Uh, we have about 5,000 square feet of actual productive space. We have about 50 racks of microgreens. And then of course at the outdoor farm, we have about another 2,500 square feet of productive space. We have currently a team of seven farmers, an all women team, which I'm really, really proud of and excited about. I, uh, our team is just so amazing right now. Our mission at Little Wild Things is to demonstrate that farming is a desirable career for the best and brightest of the next generation. Before the farm, I had a career in uh, the environmental field. I studied civil and environmental engineering and then natural resources management. I worked in the private sector as, a, as an engineer for a few years, and I also um, was a diplomat for about 10 years working in international development overseas doing environmental and agricultural work. But I did always enjoy gardening. My parents really instilled in me a sense of environmental stewardship from a young age, and I was very interested in sustainability. I had this idea that I wanted to work on a farm, but I also wanted to make a good living. That was the challenge, is how do I fit those two together? How can I make a good living, but still do something that I love to do? I love working with my hands. I've always been creative. I like being outdoors. And so those are the things that drew me to farming. I tried to find land in my network um, at backyards and front yards. That was kind of a model that I was interested in, and I wasn't really able to find anything. That's when I was on a run in my neighborhood one day, and I just noticed that um, this monastery had a really large front yard that might work. I thought, I could really do something here. That's where I started growing vegetables down there and just taking them to my local restaurants. After my first season, I just realized that the short days to maturity was gonna be super key for me. Not having any farming experience, I realized that I was making a lot of mistakes because <laughs> I was learning everything as I went. So, you know, every time I would grow a crop, I'd go, oh, you know, I messed this crop up, I've gotta do better. I had been growing microgreens a little bit on the side, and it just occurred to me one day while I was farming that, well, microgreens only take eight to 20 days to grow. So I would get a chance to learn every eight to 20 days. And that was really when I decided I'm going to the shortest days to maturity. And that's all I care about because I'll learn faster. The farm that you see here today started off as an old parking garage. We put a lot of sweat equity my team has um, into improving the space. It's really rewarding to see that all of our hard work has turned into something that we can be proud of here. Prior to COVID, our business was about 85, 90% wholesale. We sold to the area's premier restaurants, hotels, bars, bakeries, catering companies. When COVID hit, we lost all of that business within a period of two weeks, maybe. It was really, like a pretty dark time. Like I all of a sudden felt alone. Like how can I manage what was this huge operation? So in that moment, I really thought, you know, I'm gonna have to turn the lights off and shut this place down. I remember waking up at like four o'clock in the morning and just thinking, I have to try to save this farm. I have the ability in here to grow tens of thousands of pounds of very nutritious, fresh food. It really hit me how important it is. And so I thought, go big or go home. We have got to try something to save this farm. So I woke up at four in the morning and by like nine that morning, I had designed the whole e-commerce system. I had designed the whole salad share program. 
Honestly, I was just shocked, like, the, how fast the orders started coming in. I think we have a really high degree of confidence that this is really a new way forward for us and that people do really love having this creative, super fresh um, product delivered to their house. The Salad Share program is, you know, a salad home delivery program. It's an eight-week program and it changes with the seasons. Every week you get um, a, a bag of fresh mixed greens, microgreens, and edible flowers delivered to your doorstep by our team of farmers. The Quick Greens Harvester, I don't think we could operate at this scale without it right now. We definitely can't hand harvest at the scale that we're at. At the same time, a really large harvesting machine can run anywhere from sixteen dollars to $35,000. So the, the Quick Greens Harvester is a really affordable option that we've been using for years. I farm because it allows me to express like all of my different talents and abilities. I love that farming allows me to explore like the business and technical side of things, but also the creative endeavor of building a business and branding that business and deciding what crops you're gonna grow and solving problems along the way. I love that about farming and business is it's really just all you are is like just a problem solver. And so it's new every day. You cannot give up. You have to just continue going on no matter what you face. I've learned that that's really what sets a successful entrepreneur apart from those who are not. And it really is not talent. It's not resources. It's none of those things. It's just that you have to continue going and put in the hard work and you'll be amazed at how that's rewarded. The good life to me is experiencing joy every day in what you're doing. Having a passion for what you're doing, like deep down inside, like it's not about for me really like saving the environment or it's, it's really just like that I love doing it. Hi guys, I'm Jonathan with Farmer's Friend. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more inspiring stories like this. To learn more about our innovative small farm tools and supplies like easy to assemble greenhouse kits, flame weeders, and a lot more, check out our website at farmersfriend.com.